Hello guys and welcome back. And on this episode, we'll be exploring the Falls Street Bridge area in New Braunfels, Texas. Let's get started. The river that is passing under the bridge is the Guadalupe River system. There are a few ways to get to this area. You can either go from the north parking lot or from the south parking lot. In this case, we're coming from the south, going downward to the trail, to the river. I consider this place a hidden gem because it wasn't until some local showed me that I actually knew this place even existed. It's a really hidden spot, but it's a gorgeous place to see, guys. And a neat feature coming down the south side, you actually got to use these sandstone staircases. And once you come down those staircases, this is the view you're going to see. This cool sight. And usually it's a lot more packed during the more hotter seasons, which in Texas is like probably nine to 10 months out of the year. But fortunately for us on this spring day, we have it all to ourselves, thanks to the overcast. And some of the structures you'll see right off the bat are that building, that other factory building in the back, and also the bridge. And I'll tell you a little bit of history about all of them in a bit. But some of the plants I've seen were this Western spiderwort and this cool new flower called Will Tears. It gets its name because if you squeeze the little stem area below the flower, I guess it oozes out some liquid that looks kind of like tears, honestly. I also got to see a Turek Sandpiper. I'm sorry about the slow motion footage to keep the camera from shaking so much, guys. I also got to see a domestic Musacobi duck. Now back to the bridge. Going back to the 18th century, it sometimes took weeks for the flood water to subside so it could be safe to travel across the river. In 1887, Como County commissioned a Ohio company called Keen Iron Bridge to develop the high water bridge. And this bridge will come to be one of the last wrought iron bridges built in Texas. And it will also be the first toll-free structure completely over a major waterway in the state. This bridge extends more than 640 feet in length. Now going to my personally favorite spot, the pump house for the old textile mill. And to be honest, besides the river and the bridge, this is probably the number one hotspot in this whole area. Because you can already see with all the graffiti, stickers, and art that this is some kind of hangout spot. Whether for some sketchy people or for some cool kids. And also too, if you go more forward, you'll see right now, there's actually a makeshift diving board. You can actually dive from the top upper level of this whole thing. So following my finger, what they'll do is they'll cross this platform, and they'll cross this little concrete barrier and start climbing up this pool and go up, 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 all the way to the top and then jump from the highest point right there where that makeshift board is to get a running start. Luckily, the river's deep enough so when they jump, it won't really harm them in any kind of way, unless they don't know how to swim. And going to the right side between the, well, what's left of the doors, you'll see this side. It's all just all overgrown stuff and some old pump supplies and also some a of old pipes too and open floors. That's pretty much about it to see. But yeah, that's the most of this hidden gem I wanted to show you guys. But since I'm in the area, just two miles down the road is actually a Bucky's. And this will be a little bonus trip. And I'll also share some facts with you too about Bucky's. Texas native Arch Applin opened his first store in 1982. He got the name Bucky's from his childhood nickname Beaver and from his Labrador Retriever Buck. Bucky's holds a few world records under its belt. One being that it opened the largest convenience store in Serverville, Tennessee at a whopping 74,707 square feet. And in 2017, they opened the world's longest car wash that is 255 feet, and it takes about five minutes to go through it. And this is found in Katy, Texas. The fudge and barbecue are made in-house daily, and the most popular snack food are the beaver nuggets. The first Bucky's location that was open outside of Texas was in Leeds, Alabama in 2019. Bucky's is open 24 hours a day, 365 days out of the year. And the most famous fact of them all, Bucky's is known for its clean bathrooms. I mean, look at it, it's so clean and nice. And that's all for this adventure, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please, guys, leave a like, leave a comment if you got any questions. Please, guys, subscribe, it'll help me out greatly. I appreciate you guys. Take care, be safe out there, and have a nice day, guys.